Oh my gosh, it's full speeding it. Wow, car, okay. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all of the reactions to yesterday's video. I said I was thinking about doing daily content and that video blew up. You guys smashed past the thousand like goal within about four hours and it's currently sitting at one and a half thousand plus likes. Also, this was the fastest video on my channel to ever hit 20,000 views. Audience retention was also up to 43%, which is way higher than normal. So thank you guys for watching more of the video. If you continue to do that, it really helps support the channel and push us up the rankings. I'll be definitely doing daily content for the foreseeable future and we'll see how it goes so while i've got you here let me give you a very quick channel update feel free to skip forward about a minute if you want to miss this out i'm going to be putting videos live at 3 p.m every day because that's when most of my viewers are on youtube only 17.6 percent of you have subscribed and turn on the notification bell so make sure you turn on that notification bell and set it to all notifications so you never miss an upload and somehow 69.6 percent of you guys watch my videos and aren't subscribed at all make sure to subscribe and of course as you know every single like comment share and if you can stay for as long as possible in every video to watch as much of it will help me be able to do this channel daily and make it actually my next job very exciting times ahead i can't wait to share it all with you let me know in the comment section anything you want to see in the very very near future on tesla driver until then, enjoy this video. Welcome back everybody to Tesla Driver. I hope you're doing very well. Today we're gonna be taking the Model 3 down a road that has no road markings. We're actually gonna be following uh, that Royal Mail van down there, down this road. And we're gonna see how well it fares down one of these roads. Instantly you can see that it's taking us to the other side of the road, which really isn't good. Uh, but as it is like a one lane road, hopefully we won't have too many issues. There is a cyclist ahead of us as well. So it's brought us over to the left hand side, which is good. Gonna keep it really slow here, just because obviously. Yes, so it's keeping us in the middle of the road. It's not kind of going left or right as of yet. The cyclist in front is going left and right. <laughs> Whoa, it's taking us all the way to the right-hand side of the road. This does not feel good at all. Jeepers, actually nearly putting me down like in, in the little, what do you call it? Rut, I guess, on the side of the road. It's still favoring the right hand side. Wow, 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 how tight, how tight. Luckily, there's no one coming, there's no one behind us. And actually, I might just stay behind the cyclist. He's going 25 miles an hour. I don't wanna be going any faster down this road. Let's see if it hugs into there. Oh, it thought about it. It thought about it for a split second. Yeah, this cyclist is actually going faster than me. And this works pretty well because it gives us then something slow to slow us down. Because this is a 60, don't forget. You can go 60 down here. Please don't go down this pothole. Oh, oh, yeah, it's favoring. It's favoring the right-hand side of the road for some reason. I don't know if it's thinking about overtaking this cyclist or something, but it's definitely favoring this right-hand side of the road. So cyclist coming right out in front of us. Oh my God, the car might be might be trying to, to work its way around. He's going in for us, which is really nice. Um, thank you very much. That's very nice of him. He really didn't need to do that for us. And I kind of wish he didn't because now he's going to see me going all over the place. <laughs> anyway, this is a little bit better. This is a nice little straight. And it's keeping us... It's still... It's definitely favoring this right-hand side. You can see it's closer to the right line here as well. But I just feel... I can feel it going into all of these. It's like... Look at this. Look at this. Just watch... Watch the Velcro. You can see it slightly go that way all the time, which means it's favoring this right-hand side of the road here. Okay, we've got a tight corner coming up that I am ready to, obviously, well, if anyone comes around, we've both got to stop anyway. Yes, it's bringing us to the left-hand side of the road. Okay, now it's not. And now we've got a really nice long straight and we're going up this hill in front of us. So let's bring this up, shall we, to 60 and see, yeah, going up to 60 for this bit, no problem at all. Oh, wow, yeah, whoa, okay, this is, this is fast. Okay, bring it back down, that's, oh my god, that's way too fast. I mean, Lee, oh, okay, we slightly touched, I'm gonna say the mound on the left there. Oh, pole, oh. All right, so we've got a gap in the road, some space, no problem, working well for us here. And, oh, we've got some cyclists, so I'm gonna have to, Jesus. Okay, I guess they're not stopping. So the car there actually slammed on for them. Yeah, it's it's 
Yeah, okay, so cyclists, they're not stopping. <laughs> they're not stopping for the car. 1.5 meters, my ass. No cyclist is ever asking for 1.5 meters down here, it seems. Okay, we're looking for autopilot to turn back on again. We've got someone doing a brisk drop jog. Up. Oh, okay, they've stopped. How is the car? Oh, we've got another car coming. So I'm on tactical aware, tactical, ta tack aware cruise control here. And you can see it didn't show the human at all. It's asking me to take control immediately. And again, it didn't show that car on the screen. So I'm assuming it can definitely see the car and the human, or at least I hope it could, but it decided then not to show us them, which is really, really strange. I've never been up this road, by the way, so I have no idea where it takes us. This is quite exciting. Okay, I'm hoping to see some lines on the floor soon, and then autopilot will turn back on because it'd be, it'd be nice to be able to do all this bit on autopilot as well. Oh, it gets really, really tight. Oh my gosh. Okay, please don't anyone come around the, the other side of this road. Apparently you can go down here though. Oh, 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 oh okay. Okay, right, it's now turned, it's turned dirty. It's turned very, very dirty. This would have been really good as well. This would have been such a good test had autopilot continued and we didn't have that car with us this actually would have been a killer killer test i have no idea where we are right now and i'm going to turn around i think can i go down there like i i can i can go down there but I, i'm not going down there i don't think that way goes to a road i'm not okay let's see what it does on here then shall we so we've got this is definitely two roads here. You can definitely fit two cars down here nicely. Autopilot turned on. What does Autopilot think of it? It's, uh, oh, it's all over the place. Oh, wow, wow, okay. Stay on the left. No, it's kind of, kind of, no, going over to the right now. I'm gonna bring it down to 50. Yeah, really on the right-hand side. I'm gonna have to pull it over myself and go to the left-hand side. You can see though, the car is braking by itself. So that's really good to see. And it won't, even though Autopilot said it would, there we go, now Autopilot's back on. It's doing the corner and we've got a big lorry. So we're gonna have to, oh wow, you can see actually it slammed on there for us. It put the full abort system on as well. It really didn't like that at all. Uh, okay, we've got no one ahead of us for this corner. Let's give it a whirl. Oh my gosh, it's full speeding it. Wow, car, okay, nope, nope, nope. Don't like that at all. So we can see around the corner, there's a van probably coming in about five, four, three, two, one now there you go that's how well we know these roads okay if i continue onwards do we think that way will work for us it has got some lines okay let's give this route a go shall we so you can see that there are definitely some lines in the middle of the road here the car oh, i did pick it up for a split second come on no it's actually controlling itself by pushing me away from that left side of the road did you see that that was pretty interesting so I'm really struggling to find more single tracks that have no lines at all. So I'm hoping that this one will eventually go to a track that has no lines. There's no one behind us. There's no one in front of us. This is a 60 and we have actually done this before and it seems to be doing the same thing as it did before, which yeah, look at this, hugging the right hand side. It's not even hugging the right hand side. It's just on the right hand side. Look, look at that. We are literally on the right hand side of the road driving down it completely wrong and going up close to cars. Tesla, what is up with that? Why does it? Why is it still doing that? Okay, let's try it again here. I'm a little bit worried about using it in case, yeah, look at that, throws us into the center and I'm not gonna use it here because of course I can't see over that hill. And if there was someone coming over the hill at the speed limit, which is 60, we would have gone smash. So again, putting it on now. And yeah, it's just, it kind of sits you into the middle until it loses the lines, then it throws you over to the right-hand side. Like, what? what is that about? I'm honestly not 100% sure why it does that, and I really don't like the fact that it does it. It needs to stick to the left at all times. But there we go, everyone. That is some single lane driving and some roads that have no lines here in the UK. You saw how the Tesla handled it. It was okay, I guess. I mean, it really isn't made for those roads. And don't forget, we are pushing it to the utmost extreme here. However, it would, it would not stick to the left-hand side of the road. And as soon as the road gets a little bit too wide, it seems to get very confused and kind of go all over the place. So hopefully that will be sorted out as well very, very soon. Jesus, that felt like it was going straight into 
that car there. It's not seeming to slow itself down for these corners much at all. Why is it? It's doing it quite jarring. Like it needs to slow itself down before the corners. Previously on this road, it actually did this bit of road great before. So I'm not sure why just there it felt it needed to go full speed at it. So I'm going to keep on trying. I'm going to keep on hunting for some roads with no markers on it. And hopefully very soon they'll update it. So at least the car sticks to the correct side of the road, which for us is the left-hand side. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, turn on your notifications, subscribe, and drive safe.